Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about qualifying column names. So it is considered a good practice that we qualify column names with the name of the table associated with those specific columns. And to be able to do that, first off we grab our database, we use it, because whenever we say use whatever database, or in this case Halali database, it means all these subsequent queries will be executed within the context of this database. So we need to provide a context for our queries to run on or run against. Uh, now, let's say we want to grab the two columns, the country ID and the country name columns from the country's uh, table. Now, normally what we have studied so far is we would write country country underscore ID comma so this is the first column and then we say country underscore name from which table we know which table it is it is the country's table so this is how we have studied it so far and if I run it we got the country ID and the country name so this is what we have studied so far but table qualifying column names what it actually means is we are going to prefix the name of the column with the name of the table associated with that and before actually moving forward I need to tell you that this is actually different than let's say what the query that you that you, the statement that you see here because this is not table qualifying column names this is the way this is the database name and this is the table name so we use the database name with the table name but in uh, table qualifying column names we use the table name with the column name that's what that's the difference so we can say countries dot and countries dot so basically what we did here is we used the countries dot which is the qualification for the country id and the country um, name columns and this dot represents the relationship between this column and this i uh, this table so it is a good practice to table qualify and there are two major reasons one some uh, um, some dbmss some database management systems they tend to run this query faster and the second reason is um, that you can distinguish between multi multiple columns from multiple uh, que um, tables you can distinguish them better so let's say if you have so many other columns belonging to other tables if you table qualify column names it is considered a good practice because that is not going to confuse you further so if I save this file and if I comment this one out save it and if I run it in both cases we get the same exact result now what is the difference between um, be, uh, well um, this writing the database name here and writing the table name here is that whenever you write the database name you don't really need to use this use keyword so I'm just going to change it to example number 17 I'm going to comment out the the use um, let us go up let's just comment this one out let's save that I'm going to comment this one in now the way that database works is when you say halali db dot let's say countries you're basically grabbing uh, this database but we know that we cannot write this with the select clause why because this is a database and this is a table we in front of the select we need to pass in either the star or the column names that we have so I'm just gonna cut this one out from there and I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna provide column and if I run this query you can see that we have selected all the columns from the country's table using this statement now let's say if I click on this to-do list uh, database which we're going to talk about later in this course in this SQL course and if I run this again you can see that even though we are selecting this country's table from this database this database is not selected so if you are not using if you're not uh, executing this query 
this use halali db you need to pass in this halali db uh, everywhere in order to access the context of this database so you need to keep that in mind so if you have another select statement for this database you need to include this database name or prefix your table names with this state that's why we use the use statement and that is the difference between table qualifying column names so i'm just going to comment um let me just comment this one out i'm going to comment this one back in and let's comment this part out let's save that let's run this code we don't have any queries commented in but if we select any query uh and or if we uncomment any query and if we run it we're going to see the changes reflected here that's it for this lecture see you in the next one